Hello YouTube, what is up? Out testing my audio again. Very windy day here in Austin. So that's a good chance to test this. I've got my Zoom H1N audio recorder going. I've got the microphone right below my bottom lip. Being held in place by a neck neck warmer thing. Um, I have an open-faced helmet. I have a Shoei uh, J Cruise 2, so the bottom part does not have the chin guard. So we'll, this helmet is definitely much windier than most, um, you know, full-faced helmets. So it's been a challenge for me to get this audio set up properly. Proper, I should say. Um, normally the audio is fine, below 50 miles an hour, but once we get up over, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour, my voice gets drowned out and I can't hear anything. So let's uh, pick up some speed a little bit here and test it out. going 60 miles an hour right now. Hopefully this is picking up my voice clearly. Uh, I have the limiter on and I have the um, gain turned to 7 and the low out, uh, low cut is set at I believe 120. So we'll see how that works out. I watched a, a good video the other day uh, from a YouTube content creator named Grumpy Goat. He, uh, he also has a BMW RX, or R RS I should say, I'm sorry. But I think, I think his is a 1200 RS from uh, 2016. And he did a three part series on Moving the drive shaft, uh, my bike and the boxer engines are all shaft drive, which is great because you don't the maintenance is very low. However, these bikes once they get uh, around 50,000 miles or so on them, there have been reports of shaft failures. So uh, his bike is, uh, has more than that on there, so he pulled it out to have a look. So if you have a boxer engine, um, you're probably going to have to be looking at that shaft drive at some point, you know, beyond the warranty. These bikes are warrantied for 36,000 miles or three years. Luckily, I won't have to deal with that anytime soon. My bike has just over a thousand miles on it. But I'll put the uh, link in the description below if you're interested in checking out that three-part series. Uh, yeah, Grumpy Goat has some, got a lot of content. He's got some good videos to watch. There's a bunch of other good providers as well out there I, I, I like to watch. Uh, to, you know, learn more about uh, bikes, riding, and just uh, sightseeing. Some people have uh, they live in different parts of the world and have some really cool cool videos to see the where they're riding, the topography, the cityscape. It's kind of interesting. So the, uh, just use the quick shifter. It's very smooth. I really like that feature. I typically use it from 4th to 5th, 5th to 6th, sometimes 3rd to 4th, but the lower gears are pretty clunky. Um, so I typically don't use it for the lower gears. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but this does have cruise control, and I did use it. I did use it on uh, when I was approaching a school zone, the speed limit was 20 miles an hour, and it's, it's a little difficult to keep this at 20, and there's a, that school always has a police officer kind of sitting there checking traffic, so I put it in second gear, turned on the cruise control, and hit 20, and, and, and it held nicely. 
Um, so that was really nice to be able to have the cruise control kick in and help me out at lower speeds in a low gear. Very nice. Today is 81 degrees. And we just, uh, today's March 10th. We just went through a couple weeks ago here in Texas, we went through a nice uh, snow and ice storm, which devastated a lot of uh, a lot of people. No electricity, no water. Six inches of snow on the ground and ice is really crazy. And then you know, two weeks later, here we are, 80 degrees, back to te Texas weather. <laughs> Yeah, those of you I, uh, that are interested or haven't tried this helmet, I, I really love this helmet. Just the audio thing is a problem, but I really like open-faced helmets and having a full range of view, and uh, I, I really don't like the full face. I know they're safer, and I wouldn't have as many problems with this audio, probably. But uh, I just like having the whole bottom below my you know, shield there open and I can just see everything. I, I like that. And I did buy a, a kind of a motorcycle helmet beanie because I think the pads on this helmet were... I, I have an extra large. Um, I'll, I tried a large on and it was very tight on my head. I mean, I could wear it, but it was kind of borderline squishing my head uncomfortable. So X, XL was was fitting good when I bought it, brand new. And it seems like the pads are maybe wearing in a little bit. And the helmet felt a little bit loose, which isn't very good. And so I bought a, a little helmet beanie from Amazon for, I don't know, it was eight bucks or nine bucks, something like that. And this is the second time I've worn it. And it's, uh, it does the job. It, it really makes the helmet fit tighter very thin it goes down below my ears so it also helps you know cover my ears and my earplugs so when I put the helmet on it's uh, a lot easier to slip the helmet right over the ears and the and the uh, earplugs it's not a very nice day today I was going to take some some shots of the bike with this with my new with my new uh, wheel tape in place. Let me see. Let's see if we can do that or not. I use my so there's my new red wheel tape. I think it's just enough red. To tie into that RS there, kind of cool. Trying to take pictures with my gloves on, not the easiest thing to do. So now we're going uh, 65 miles an hour. So hopefully this is a good, another good test of this microphone positioning. how this works out. Hopefully you can hear me. This whole area now is like there's a new hotel here. There's a whole stuff, a bunch of stuff popping up around because of that big water park. And also all the IT that's moving into this area. There's a lot of companies, uh, Elon Musk and his company Tesla and Oracle 
Apple and Google already have big campuses here. IBM, Samsung, Dell is also here. Dell Computers' is, uh, hometown is Austin, so they've always been here. Here in Texas, uh, whoa. Here in Texas, you can go without a helmet if you buy yourself some special and in, uh, extra insurance. Uh, you can go without a helmet, but and, and that insurance, of course, costs more money. All right, YouTube. Well, thanks for joining me on my audio test ride on this extremely windy day. I hope this worked out. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later.